My name is Dr. John Herman. I'm a physician at Massachusetts General Hospital. And today we are in the Ether Dome, which is, it has its name because it was the first place where ether anesthesia was first publicly demonstrated. And the reason that we're here is to visit a very special person who was actually in the ether dome the day that that operation first happened, and in fact had been in this room for many years before. We're going to talk about that person, and his name is the mummy, Patty Hershev. Here is one of the cases in which the mummy, Patty Hershev, was kept. And on this case includes Egyptian writing called hieroglyphics, which, if you know how to read hieroglyphics, tells us the name of Patty Hershev, his mother and father, and quite importantly, tells us that he was blessed by the god Osiris, who was very important in Egyptian times because the god Osiris would be known to guard an individual in their afterlife. He was known as the Lord of Silence, the Lord of Love, and for most, the god of Westerners, which is pretty interesting. The ancient Egyptians considered the blessed dead the living ones, and Patty Hershev has been blessed to witness so much here in the Ether Dome. When he came here, and before we read the hieroglyphics, and for many years, Patty Hershev was referred to as the mummy. What we learned was that he was from Thebes in the 22nd Egyptian dynasty, well, at least that's what some Egyptian scholars say. Now, the 22nd dynasty was somewhere between 1,000 and 700 years B.C. That makes Patty Hershev as somebody who was living almost 3,000 years ago. And if every generation lives 50 years, and they didn't in those days, if it was 50 years, it was at least 60 lifetimes ago, and probably closer to 120 lifetimes ago. And here he is looking at us today. So the question is, why is he here? Well, a generous patron decided to give the mummy to the city of Boston and then to the Massachusetts General Hospital for whatever use it wanted to make. One of the things that he did at a very early time was to be sent out on tour, like the rock stars can be sent out on tour, and people would pay 25 cents to see him. And during the course of almost a year, traveling up and down the East Coast as far south as Georgia, to Philadelphia, to Albany, to Providence, Rhode Island, Patty Hershev and the visitors raised $1,200 that went right to the benefit of the Massachusetts General Hospital and specifically to its patients. One of the things I always wonder about Patty Hershev when I sit in this room for lectures, and lectures are given every day in this room, telling about the most modern achievements and in innovation in medicine, you wonder how much medicine has Patty Hershev been able to hear through more than 100 years, almost 200 years, that he has been in residence here at Massachusetts General Hospital. One of the most famous witnessed events in medical history happened in this room on October 16, 1846, and that's when this operation occurred, and the surgeon, John Collins Warren was one of the original physicians at the hospital. And Dr. Warren actually did some surgery on Patty Hershev as chief surgeon of the hospital in 1823. That was the most that we could learn under the skin or near it of Patty Hershev in those days. In 1931, a MGH physician, another surgeon, 
ordered that Patty Hersheff be x-rayed because that was the state of what we could learn at that time. I wonder if you want to meet Patty Hersheff face to face, however that face might look. If you're brave enough, you can come any day from 9 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night here in the Ether Dome on the fourth floor of the Bullfinch Building. Just ask at the information desk for instructions and directions to see Patty Hersheff, the mummy.